Papi, papi! Well, it's just good. <laughs>What's the best way to get around the city doing these food journeys? It's with our Rad Runner 1 by Rad Power Bike. We're all about the e-mobility game now, and Rad is delivering stylish and affordable electric bikes that make cruising around the city super fun. It really mixes like an old school motorcycle with something totally new. The design is sleek, and it carries up to two people. So if you want to hear more, definitely keep watching. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another very special episode of Fun Bros Food. This is the World NY. Today, we're going to be exploring Dominican food and culture. Things going on in this video today. We're gonna be huh? eating food. We're gonna go to a barber shop. We might get some hookah, go to a bakery. Who knows, but we could not do it without an authentic Dominican friend. We got Algenis here. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Algenis. I'm a photographer. Algenis, even though the majority of uh, Dominican neighborhoods, like you said, are in the Bronx, Harlem, and Washington Heights, there's actually still a pretty big Dominican community in the Lower East Side, right? Yeah, you can find, like, there's some spots that you can, like, get your typical Dominican food. If you guys are excited to see this video about Dominican food and culture, make sure you hit that like button, click subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Keep watching. Dominican food. Let's, Let's go. go. Yo, because I just seen this meme that said, oh, this is Puerto Rico's president, and then it's Donald Trump, and then they said, this is Dominican Republic's yeah, president. president. <laughs> the National Dominican Beer, cool. Presidente. The spread has arrived here uh -oh. at Castillo de Jagua. Dominicans is a very rare mixed country, like, so you can see that in the food. I just know Cardi B always raps about sazon. Sazon, yeah, that's seasoning. Okay. That's what it means. Chuleta, pork chop, super juicy, tender. A lot of flavor, actually. Yeah. So what I heard is Dominican food is actually not that spicy, hot. No. But it has still a lot of flavor. Uh, hot, yeah, because of the seasoning. So yeah, adobo makes like everything more flavor. It's good. It's very juicy inside. Well fried. Avichula croja, aka the red beans. Uh, Sir Mix a lot. I think he said red beans and rice ain't miss her when he's talking about how uh, she got a big booty. Is that kind of like a common thought that like eating red beans and rice will like make you like have a big butt? The tostone is probably going to make you do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Something on the table will. Yeah. Pollo, Pollo guisado, guisado, chicken stew. Skin is falling off the bone. I'm starting to mix everything on my plate. I have some beans left over. I have some avocado. I got the yellow rice. Oh, Dennis, how much does this taste like the food you grew up eating? Uh, very similar. Okay. Very similar. I mean, the people that are cooking right now, they're all Dominican, so they know what they don't know. Sancocho. It's basically a mix of chicken, pork, Beef. Oh. That's a soup. Oh yeah. Mm. You can throw some avocado in the sancocho as well. All right, everybody. Before we continue that video, we want to let you know that this video is sponsored by Rad Power Bikes, based out of Seattle, Washington, our hometown. They sent us two bikes, one in army green and one in black, and this is the Rad Runner One. Base level is $11.99. A lot of people have been giving us questions, looks all day long because it does have that old school European motorbike feel to it. What's the top speed? How far does it go? That's always the question when it comes to e-mobility. This has a max speed of about 20 miles per hour. So it's not the fastest thing ever, but it's really good for cruising. But it has a mileage of 25 to 45 miles per charge. So on our Rad Runner, they actually hooked us up with some upgrades. Let me just show you real quick. So here we have an upgraded LCD. So this tells us like the battery, the speed, the gear that we're on, all that good stuff. We have a full fender here, meaning that there's gonna be less splashback. But here you have so much storage, check this out. You can put a drink in there, you can put a drink on top. One of my other favorite things about this e-bike, which is different than other e-bikes, is that you got space on the back for another person. This is uh, an add-on. So that way, like if I want to put this down, right, look, it all becomes one big thing. Oh, cool. Oh, there we go. So that way you can like, you know, that's like even that. better. Yeah. Is there is there a trunk compartment? Yeah, yeah, you can just carry shit in there. Oh, cool. One of the main worries that people have when it comes to e-mobility is how do you recharge this thing? This is really cool, Andrew. You can remove the battery and we'll be able to take it, just charge the battery in the house. Very affordable, obviously, e-bikes can get very very expensive and you don't really want to mess with the super cheap ones either because you know they're probably really low quality so this one is right in the middle the drive one is a pretty dope bike i think it's really good for like an urban commuter who needs storage space needs to carry maybe an extra person every now and then um, doesn't go too fast 25 miles an hour so it's like a safe cruising speed 
but I think, I think they're great. Real quick, let's just talk about some famous Dominicans that everybody knows of, whether we know that they're Dominican or not. Alex Rodriguez. Big Papi Ortiz. David, uh, David yeah. Ortiz. Cardi B. Cardi B. We are like almost 70%, I can say, of the MLB. Yo, uh, Dominicans make up 70% of the MLB. It's not like... I don't know if that's a real statistic. <laughs> real statistic. But it feels, feels like, like though. It feels you know, like, like it. feels like, cause like... Do you think that people view baseball, or in Spanish, in baseball? Pelota. Pelota, okay. <laughs> Do you think they view Pelota as a way out? Little kids, we already like have like a stake in our hands, trying to like, become the next big papi. Do you remember there was this one New York legend, he played in the NBA for a little bit called Felipe Lopez? He yeah, was Dominican, yeah, yeah. and he was nasty in high school. They viewed him as like LeBron, Kobe, OJ Mayo tier in high school. He was probably drinking a lot of, a lot of uh, rum. <laughs> <laughs> we got to continue on our Dominican LES crawl. We're on to our next spot. Taba Benicio. Salud. Right now, we're about to try some Tres Leches cakes. I know um, some other Spanish culture, they have similar cakes and stuff, but we Dominicans have our own style of making it. And there's a Chinese guy in here. David, you're saying we're not the only Chinese guys in here. All right. All right, yo, I'm looking at a corn with what, nutmeg on it? Uh, cinnamon? It's cinnamon, cinnamon. All right, maharete, guys. <laughs> Whoa! Yo, every time David makes that face, you know. She did say that there were these, the Malta was from DR, but yeah. it does say on the cap, Puerto Rico. So. Puerto Rican. This, this oh. one is Puerto Rican. We have another one that is actually from oh, Okay, DR. a more local one, okay. Yeah. But we didn't even drink the Puerto Rican one. Dominican? What's that Puerto Rican? The guy singing is Puerto Rican, but Dominican love him. Salud to Malta. Salud. You wanna go, hey, hey, papi, papi. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about Tres Leches. Right now, they probably not gonna make it as Dominicans as we always make it at home. Cause we always put like a little bit of alcohol in it. Rum? A yeah, little bit rum. of that Dominican, Dominican rum. Oh, rum. Oh, okay. rum. Yeah, we always put like some Dominican rum in it to make it more Dominican. It's dripping. This Tres Leches is dripping. Oh, wow. Whoa! Like, wow, another one? Whoa! Yo, different oh, yeah. style, man. That's a Whoa. different style. I'm here almost every morning to get my coffee. Oh, wow. Coffee, yeah. well, what's your favorite cake that you get here? <laughs> It's the guava and cheese. Wow. Okay, the guava and cheese. Yeah. Okay, hell yeah. Yeah, that's Relices, my favorite. Good. And, the, and the sugar, the sugar donut. Okay. Yeah, my favorite. He has, Relices, he has. good. <laughs> we got Cibao over here, which is a city in uh, Dominican Republic. Yeah, right? that's basically where I come from, Santiago. Some people call it Cibao, some other people call it Santiago. ¿Crees que este es el lugar más auténtico? Bueno, déjame decirte. Estamos aquí desde 1956. Yo particularmente tengo 42 años aquí. All right, we are at our last and final food round of our Dominican uh, cultural exploration. I've mango. never had that before. Mango. Cheese and mango. Man, good. It's a classic Dominican breakfast. Wow. No, that salami is really good. Mm. Yeah. You know what? If, you know if the first guy would have said damn good, it would be called Dangu. 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 You know what really helped? I really like these pickled onions. It yeah, kind of adds like a different flavor to yeah, it. It does. Mangu with fuego. Mopongo. It's a mix of plantain, meat, pork, and cheese. Is it kind of similar to the uh, mangu? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the difference is that this, we mix it up with more um, food. And this one is just straight plantain. Oh, oh! You can taste all the flavor in mm. it from different. Yo, I like it better than the mango because it has more flavor. It yeah, is. it is. Thanksgiving dinner, you got a bunch of stuff on your plate, and you're mixing it together with your mashed potatoes. This is kind of what it reminds me. The garlic flavor yeah. is five out of five oh. in the mofongo. Fungo? Pernil with the mofongo collab. Mmm. For Cibao, what was your favorite thing? For me, I gotta go with the mofongo. Oh, me too, man. That's, that, that hit like every Dominican spot. Hey. 
So we just stopped by a uh, icy fruit cart. It's from the Bronx, so you know, this is authentic. Dominican. This is piña, coconut. Oh, coconut. 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 Right. Ice. Yeah, we call it helado. Helado. Ah! 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 Come on. We're talking mango. Most refreshing thing I had today, bro. Dennis, off the go. So right now we're heading into the Dominican bodega called Don Juan. Uh, we're about to get some drinks. What else is good? You want to grab any? Yeah, um, Goya is like a Dominican brand. They're right now making a lot of like products from the Dominican. Um, very good stuff. You should try. Why do so many Dominicans uh, own bodegas? So Dominicans came, you know, the language uh -huh. barrier. You didn't need a lot of uh, English to work in a bodega. Right. Okay. Time. Cool. And, yeah. Uh, do, you, do you think the younger generation of Dominicans want to work at, uh, take over the bodegas? Probably not. <laughs> probably not. Goya. Yeah. It was sweet, but it was actually pretty organic tasting. I like it. Wow. Yo, the soursop one. Yo, let me try that one. Delicious. How long you been cutting hair? Oh, I've like 37 years. 37 years. Why, why are so many uh, Dominican guys, they get into barbering? Dominican people like to, love to cut hair. They love to make somebody look fresh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it fun too? Like it seems like a cool job, you, you chill? Yeah, yeah, you, you meet a lot of different people. <laughs> what, is, what, is the, what would you like Dominican Republic uh, to be known for? To people who maybe don't know that much? There. Mangu, man, mangu. Mangu. Mangu is good. You get it with the breakfast, like the egg and the salami? Salami and cheese. Oh, hell yeah. So right. so so true. Oh, man. That the legend is true, maybe. Man good. Man good, guys. Mm -hmm. The legend is true. All right, guys, I'm gonna go finish up with this haircut. Peace. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of The World NYC. Today's episode was all about Dominican food and culture. Huge shout out to Al Genis, man. Um, what do you want the world to know about like the Dominican experience? Because you know you're you're from there, yeah. and and I know you know we got a lot of uh, Dominican American friends too. But that was a whole different thing. We had to go yeah. straight to the source. Yeah, I mean like the only thing that I would say is that we are like very kind. The food is good. Like we are good. Like the news and stuff, they always saying like, oh Dominicans this or like you don't know a person until you like meet them in person. I think there's so many different ways to travel and get a new experience, just even in your own city, even down the block. Oh man, that was dope today. Thank y'all, Janis. Yo, we could not have done that without you, for sure. Let us know what's another neighborhood in New York that we gotta hit up and we gotta do the World NY series with. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Did we get Al Jenis rubbing the hornet's head like it was a little <laughs> he, he dog? Was, he was like, hey man, uh, excuse me, can you get out of here? Yeah.